parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're a thriving city with so much to do. Uncle Boston Harbor in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville is spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. We have the handsome and well-fit man, Greg, from Title Boxing Club yeah. at Assembly Bro. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Greg. Thank you for being here. So, Greg, tell us a little bit about Title Boxing Club. What is that? All right. So, Title Boxing Club is a franchise that is... Uh, nationwide, um, just over 200 and change clubs. Um, we run throughout Boston. So we have two clubs at North Station and Assembly Row, which I am located. We are fitness group based class. Um, we fit up to 60 people in a class where we have a trainer running around on a mic, teaching you the basics of boxing, but also mixed in with some other fitness, which kind of breaks down all of, you know, any individual's goals, uh, you know, in order to you know, get somebody in the greatest shape of your life, our saying is the best hour of your day. So that's what we want to, you know, shoot for. How early do you start? We start as early as 5.30. Who in their right mind wakes up at 5.30 and starts <laughs> running around for one hour? Well, I know it's the best hour of the day. Yeah. Are so, you there at 5.30? I am there 97% of the time. <laughs> so I am there. Uh, the people that get up generally that early are, we have doctors, nurses, moms, students, pretty much anybody who kind of, suits their needs because some people are getting out of work. We have a couple of doctors or nurses that do the overnight. That's the first thing they're doing before they get home. We have some, you know, teachers and students that are going in before school gets started and we have the moms and stuff like that are doing the drop off and then they come immediately there or beforehand. Um, so, you know, there's, there's people that come there that early and you'll be surprised. <laughs> okay. So when I think about boxing, I think about a boxing bag. Mm -hmm. I think about Sylvester Stallone <laughs> punching the bag. Uh -huh. So, what is Title Boxing Club? You said you're there for an hour of the best hour of your life. Oh, yeah. What do you guys do for an hour? Right, so, give you a, a, the best breakdown that we do. I class. want it all. So we're going to give you the best breakdown. Make Good. this the best 20 minutes of your day. <laughs> 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 all right. So, looking at it this way, in the hour class, so our box 60, what we do is we start off with a 14-minute warm-up. It's calisthenics, jumping jacks, high knees, shadow boxing, all the stuff that's going to get you primed, excited, kind of get that that rust of the day off of you, get you moving. You don't have the gloves on, so you're feeling nice and comfortable. Rest of the day, they just woke up. Uh, so, well, that's in the morning class. But, you know, <laughs> okay. maybe you got that morning crust and you got to wipe your eyes. Right. You, gotta get go you got to get going, right, before you even hit the bag. So now we're primed. We're ready to go, right? We throw on our gloves and we jump into an eight-round boxing, right? So during those eight rounds, I'm giving you different combinations, jab, jab, cross, jab, cook, uh, roll, slips, all these movements that you learn throughout your time of, you know, being a member or being a guest because we kind of prime you as you come in. And in between those rounds, we're doing different moves just in order to keep that heart rate up because once you stop, it's hard to get that motor going again. You know how that goes, like you're at the gym, you jump on the treadmill, and then you're like, oh, I'm going to take a break. And you're like, all right, I'll only do three minutes more and you get out of there. We don't allow that to happen. We're going to keep you moving, right? So as we keep you moving and then we blow it down from round one to round eight, we get down to our last 14 minutes, which we do all core. Everybody loves doing core, right? No, absolutely not. But we do it at the end. <laughs> right? We do it at the end. We're tired. We're beat up. We want to go. We want to go. So then we hit it with some crunches and we do leg lifts and different movements that activate the entire trunk space from lower abdomen, upper abdomen, the obliques on the side, your lower back and glutes. So people have got to be in good shape to be around you. Uh, not so much. I think that my energy level is that type of thing that brings you from wherever you're at there. So you can be entry, you can be advanced. It doesn't matter. We're going to kind of customize the class in order to suit anybody who comes in. Okay. I have to ask you a personal question. Mm -hmm. What do you eat during the day? Me? Yeah. I want to know from <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ah, yeah. so because usually... you're in great shape, you've got great energy, and you have a really fabulous vibe no, you look like you. a happy man uh, you know um give you a breakdown so I'll, I'll spin off on that in a little bit but uh so my day i usually start off i'm up at like 4 45 4 o'clock depending on you know the day the day of the week that it is because i usually have clients 
but I start off with uh, a cup of oatmeal, overnight oats. I have four eggs, and then um, usually like um, I have uh, potatoes that I usually roast at the beginning of the week and kind of throw that in with every meal. Um, then I have like a yogurt parfait a couple hours later. Um, my lunch is usually some type of ground beef or chicken uh, with rice. Then I have my snacks, which are usually shakes, nuts, um, slices of cheese, different things like that throughout the day. Then I finish it off with a big meal. And usually my last meal is not a great meal, not that it's takeout or anything, but I do have my cheat days. I'm still human. I have kids and stuff, so I like to eat. <laughs> but what about your veggies? I didn't oh, know you were talking oh, about I, any I, I veggies. Mix, I mix those in, so I do have those in throughout the day, and usually those are with my shakes and stuff like that. A lot of times, I, I personally don't have a ton of the fresh veggies sitting around because my day is so long. I usually mix them in with the shakes, so that way I make sure I get them in, but never an excuse. So make sure you have your veggies, but I, you, I mix them you, in with the shakes. Do you wear your kids out? Oh, no, my kids wear me out. My son's the best personal trainer you can have. Ask my son. <laughs> I, te I bring in some of the movements he does into my classes, yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, they crawl. How old's your son? My son's three. So he, he's a is boomer. he walking or oh, crawling? Oh, no, he's running. He's, a, he's, a, he's an athlete in his own right. Malcolm, he's the he's the best trainer. I mean, right now. kids are in the best shape because they're all they're always moving. Oh, they're always moving. They're doing all the things that we wish we say we can do. Oh, he's squatting. He's doing this. If I get as low as he does, I'm not coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're at Fit Row, and there are other studios there. Why should people come to your studio? Oh yeah, so every one of the studios has a different vibe. So a lot of times the clientele, they'll test out at different places, but they'll go to what matches, right? So for us, it's the idea that there's an innate ability to fight. Everybody, you put two infants into a crib, they're gonna play, they're gonna wrestle, they're gonna push, right? And we all have different stress, stressors throughout our day. We have different things going on at home. We have different things going on at work. But you come into the gym and it's only about you and this 125 pound bag that's sitting in front of you. Whether it's your first time or you've been coming there for two years, three years, we have other members that are members at other clubs that have been around for five years. And everybody can be in the same room and nobody cares what's going on next to them. All you care about is that combination and making it through that class. When you get out, there's this epiphany, this release of energy that you have. We have stories for days of people that come in and it's just, it's a moment that you can't really emulate in any type of workout. It's a release. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And everybody has their own bag? Oh, yeah, absolutely. 61 bags in the studio. There's 61 bags? 61 bags. So you can have up to 60 people. Oh, I can have more because I can put two on two on a bag. And Do you I've have a microphone? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm running around with a microphone. We have a very, very large studio with a backside with a fitness area where people work out as well. So there's tons of things going on at once. But, yeah, we can fit close to, close to I would say, comfortably. We've had... Over 61 people, we've had 71, 70. That 73 is unbelievable. People just popping on the bags and doing their thing, and we got the music blaring. It's a great time. How long has uh, the your fitness club been, been there? So we started when um, Assembly Row got its launch. So we've been there for now, going over two years now. So we've been there since the inception of Fit Row. Oh, off Fit Row. Title Boxing Club has been there for two years, and you said you have another location in Boston as well. Yes, on Causeway. On Causeway, right you next to TD Garden. You don't teach at that other I one. go over there. We are in partnership, but my main focus is my clientele here at uh, Assembly Row. That is fabulous. I'm just thinking about people moving at that rate mm -hmm. of light and sound mm -hmm. at 5.30 in the morning oh, yeah. and having you, like, do you, are you like a drill instructor? Oh, I, I have some fun. I make jokes, as you can tell. My personality, I try to be, I get up in the morning. If you're not, if I'm not up, they're not up. So I have to be on the moment that that first bell hits, I'm on. It's like a performance. So I try to make sure I bring everybody to that same level. Even when they're half asleep and they're not there, you can kind of see them wake up through the rounds. So as you start off the warm up, mm, round one, okay, we're punching stuff. Round two, okay, this isn't stopping. Round three, all right, we're ready to go. And we're rolling, we're rolling, I, we're rolling. I want to hear you at your loudest level. Oh, you don't want to hear me. <laughs> no, no, I want to hear you, like, give, give us an example of, I want to hear an example of yeah. you. So you remind me of a drill instructor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to hear it. Give us an example. Right, Where so round, how many know, rounds are there? Uh, we got eight rounds. So eight I, rounds. So I which round? My, I give you my round one. So like you're getting ready. You know, gloves on, gloves on. We got five. We got five, four, three. First combination. Three, two. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Three, two, one. Bell hits. Bang. We're right into it, and that's without a mic. 
That's only round one. That's round one. Okay, yeah. guys. And that's only the one. Okay, you yeah. you better you better be up and ready. <laughs> so you're you're basically their coffee. Oh yeah, I get you going. Yeah. You're the you bring energy me a coffee, drink. And then that's a whole different animal. So. You oh, you mean that, you get a little bit more I'm wired up? With the coffee, I, you flip the switch and I'm ready to go. You're you're going right now. I'm I'm re I want to run around this room <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Greg. How did you arrive in Somerville? What is your journey to up to this point? How did you get here? Yeah, so let me, uh, that, that's what I was going to say before is that, um, so I haven't always been in boxing. I started off boxing as a youth up until I was about 22. I did it all the way from the amateur level all the way up to just before turning pro. I was on the border of going to the Olympic trials back in 2008. Um, so that it was really important to me. Uh, but then I had a child, I had a child in 2005 and I had to start making some different life choices. I was finishing up with college. So I was like, all right, I'm going to focus and, you know, make my earning and wear my, my respective field, which is finance at the time. So over the last 10 years, I was working in finance, loved the job in the beginning. Cause that's what I love to do. Um, found myself towards the end of that time, wanting to do more and something more passionate. And you hear that a lot in fitness that, you know, people make this transition and that's what I did. Um, a friend of mine, Amanda, who's the general manager over at uh, Assembly Row, decided to bring me on. She was like, hey, what would it take to bring you in here? I was a little nervous because I wasn't sure about, you know, income and things like that. How am I going to make this jump? Uh, but I started teaching the classes once again and um, I fell in love with it. So I decided I'm going to do this full time and I made the jump. So for the last two years after being in banking for the last 10, I made the jump and I've been working here ever since. And it's been lucrative both on the spiritual and personal side to both the financial side. So it's, it's what I love to do. I wake up every morning and that's my coffee is doing what, you know, I, what I love to do. It's, it's really easy for me to relay that to my clientele and guests coming into the door because this is what I love to do. It's not a job to me. It's more of like a lifestyle. Well, people come there because of you. Mm -hmm. Your energy's great. Who would want to wake up to Greg <laughs> every day and to get up and go? Your energy is Fab, you have thank very you. clean, very clean energy. Thank you, thank you. You're, you're grounded yeah. on every level. And I understand we both know Nami Stone. Oh, Stony. Be <laughs> yeah, because I grew up in Somerville. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe he, he was from Kensington Ave. Mm -hmm. Because we were on a street where there was all the girls. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we were on the street where all the girls. <laughs> and all the boys in Somerville knew about our street. Mm -hmm. I didn't really hang out with him, but I knew of him. I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up mm -hmm. with, he was like one of the kids in Somerville. Yeah, yeah. He's a big name. Big name, especially in boxing, New England boxing. Um, working with the Somerville Boxing Club and uh, known for his time with uh, Johnny Ruiz, uh, the quiet man, uh, right. who I also worked with and uh, did some running with and stuff like that back in the day as a youth. But uh, yeah, Normie is a great guy, has, you know, brought a number of different boxers and trainers, you know, along the way with Alex Rivera and other fighters that, um, fighters and trainers that come out of the Somerville Boxing Club and the Wynn Boxing Club back in the day. So yeah, we were very close, very close. And where do you see Title Boxing Club going in the future? So there's a number of different things going on with title right now. So um, there's this big movement of, you know, boxing and different things how they do with mixed martial arts and stuff. So it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's one of those things that it's franchised. So it really comes down to the owners and, um, you know, the staff on how we grow. Uh, for us, we're not going anywhere. We, we have a great clientele base and we love what we do. So we're not going anywhere. But Title's also released some online platforms such as Title On Demand. It gives you the ability to do the boxing at home with different trainers that um, kind of structure a class that is cla that's still a class-based situation where we do a warm-up in the rounds of boxing where you don't necessarily need a bag, but you can do everything in the comfort of your home. This is great. Um, what is your website? How can people... Oh, yeah. So we have TitleBoxingClub.com or TitleAssembly.com. Beautiful. So lastly, words to people who want to come to your uh, title boxing club. Oh, yeah. So yeah, as I mentioned, you want to visit our website at titleboxingclub.com uh, or titleassembly.com um, or just stop in. We're over at uh, 381 Revolution Drive. We're on the second floor, so you'll see the stairway that says Fit Row. Come right on up. We can stop in. You don't even necessarily have to take a class, but you do get a free class. We'll stop in. You get that first class free. It's a first shot. Free so class. come on down. Who likes? Who doesn't like the number free? It's a great Right, number. and there's three hours of free parking. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So there's free parking for three hours. Come on down. Yeah, Title Boxing Club. You got to check out this guy. Absolutely. This Thank is you. Greg. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so Thank much. You, you are Thank lovely. You. Thank you. <laughs> you have a great day. All right. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Somerville Connects. Thank you, Greg. Thank you.
Somerville connects. Somerville connects.